Hello, and welcome to a little video on the performance of the new MacBook M1 Max with Blender. So, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of research on these machines, and it was kind of hard to find, uh, you know, real-world performance uh, feedback on this machine. Uh, there were a lot of benchmarks, but most of them for, were for um, video editing. So I wanted to do a quick video to hopefully help anyone who's trying to figure out what the performance is going to be like. So here we are with a gazillion Gundams. And this is our viewport performance. Let me see if I can get the frames per second up here somewhere. Let's see, overlays, statistics. Here, I'll turn off all the other stuff. So here we got about 11 frames per second. I'm gonna go to rendered mode, and this is Eevee. And it's pretty, pretty responsive, not too bad. About 6.7 frames per second. And this is the uh, 32 core model with 32 gigs of RAM and the 16 inch. So um, another thing to consider uh, when you're comparing across different hardwares is the, um, the resolution. So the issue here is that since we're on this 16 inch screen with the super high res, uh, if you compare that to like a 1080p display, it's gonna be pretty different. So let me scale it down and show you that, yeah, if, if we're rendering at this size, which is, I don't know the exact resolution of this viewport, but I'm imagining it's 1080p is probably somewhere around here, maybe, I don't know. But it's definitely not, um, yeah, the, the resolution of the screen actually impacts the performance. Um, and then let's go to wireframe. Pretty damn smooth very exciting and then the other cool thing about this machine is that um, if you've ever used a gaming laptop in the past it's the issue is that they're very very loud and their battery runs out really quickly I actually had a an Asus machine before that um, had a really powerful graphics card it was a, a 1080 um, but the battery got so hot and the machine got so hot that the battery actually started expanding and like almost exploding so I had to actually remove the battery from that machine eventually because it was just dangerous so that's something pretty big that this um, Apple machine that the Apple silicon is doing a really good job job at because if we go I mean you guys probably can't hear but it's silent I'm gonna bring the mic all the way up to the directly up to the vent so you can hear it Any kind of ambient noise outside or whatever like is going to be louder than the fan. When people were saying in reviews that it's quiet, like I didn't really fully understand it, but it's it's nuts. It's this thing is uh, like alien technology. I don't understand how it's so so quiet and and running so cool. Or I guess I I do understand it's because they it, they're using a lot less watts to power this GPU. Okay, let's look at another benchmark here. Oops. Sorry, let me go back here. Open up another file. So another file that probably you guys are more familiar with is um, Ian Hubert's tug, party tug scene, which is, um, you can just download this on Blender Cloud for free. And this is a great test scene because this is the type of workflow that um, that I usually do and I, I think a lot of people um, work this way with a lot of nice textures and and sort of medium polygon medium density polygon so not everything is sub D um, it's very efficient the way that Ian works so yeah this is the performance of that scene and let me bring up the 
Let's go again. So, yeah, if we play, you can see about 13, 14, 17 frames per second. Not bad. Um, for comparison, on my desktop, I have a an RTX 2070 Super, and this scene, I think, runs like at about 23, 24, which is, I mean, the max of this. That's the actual frame rate of this scene, but yeah, it's it's pretty comp comparable. And again, the resolution of this of this screen is kind of high, so that sort of degrades the performance a little bit you know, when you're trying to render out all these pixels. But um, if I was going to render this, uh, let me pause this and render the image. So this will give us a more fair fight because it's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels um, render. Let me give that a second. Oh yeah, and also we are using the um, what should we call it? The metal Apple Metal build here, which is was just very recently put out, like last week, by someone on the um, forums. Oh, actually, you know, well, th this is kind of different because this scene I, I was playing around with it a little bit. The lights are moved moved around a bit, but it's similar. Like there's very similar performance here. Let me show you what look moving the lights around would look like one light pretty cool very responsive and of course we can go in and, and edit that light and see what it looks like. I'll turn off the overlays for a second. Pretty nice. It works with the volume very well. This is magic, magical, Ian magic. Yeah, so I just wanted to show what the viewport performance was like if you're doing everyday modeling stuff and not just rendering. Because honestly, for I think a lot of people that do work in 3D, we don't really care too much about the render times at the end. It's more about the, the working speed of like, you know, editing stuff, moving stuff around, changing things. How quick is that? Or how, how, how fluid does that feel? Because that's where the majority of our, our time is spent. All right, let me look at uh, another one here. This is a car project from a few years ago. For anybody who's looking to do automotive stuff, I think this could be interesting. And this is again, EV. Um, so pretty nice this this is actually pretty easy for blender to to handle because there's not really any lights in here this is just um, going off an HDR image environment so yeah Eevee um, but also, I wanted to bring up the, whatchamacallit, da, 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 da. the cycles render, because we haven't been able to see cycles yet in Blender on the M1s until very recently, like I was saying. So let me go back, and here we're on using Metal Compute for cycles, and, and here we go. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to this build of blender in the description i don't i don't think this is in the the nightly builds yet but uh some someone made us a, a custom build with apple metal support so let's see what do we're going to go cycles 
and see how this works. The other other nice thing about this is um, even in Eevee, I think that this hardware will compile the shaders a little bit faster than um, my other, you know, NVIDIA stuff. So that's pretty good because you you that compiling step takes up a lot of time when you're transitioning uh, transitioning between um, solid and rendered mode. So that's a pretty big area for for uh, time saving. And then here we go. This is cycles. We're on GPU compute. And again, this is a pretty high resolution screen. So let me split it here so that it doesn't so we don't chug too much I, I wonder if there's a way if, if you guys know of a way to I guess downscale blenders resolution so that we're not taking up the native resolution of the sc screen we're like rendering blender at 1080p I think that would be pretty good for these kind of situations where you want a viewport render but you don't need like tons of resolution in the viewport but you would still like it to be large in size um, I think that would be a cool option I don't know if that's already popular um, possible but I need to figure that out um, what am I doing oh yeah there's also denoising here let's try denoising automatic mode Kind of mushy, and let's try op open image denoise. Yeah, it's pretty mushy on this. This material in particular is tricky because it's all the carbon fiber. I'm gonna open up another one. Let's go to this one's kind of fun. We did this one on the stream um, a couple months ago. EV again. Let's try. Uh, let's try cycles. <laughs> I think. I mean. Mm, in some ways, though, it doesn't feel as fast as it. Sh it should be maybe maybe it's still getting um, I mean this is literally the first implementation of, of uh, Apple metal support for cycles so I'm sure it's gonna get a lot faster in the future but yeah compared to the CPU it doesn't seem like such a huge I mean it's faster it's definitely faster but it's not like a gazillion times faster than the CPU. But otherwise, EV works really well, and most of my stuff now I try to do it in EV anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, let's go to material mode. It's a little bit faster in material mode. About five frames per second. For this thing and I'm not sure if EV is optimized for metal and Apple yet but the performance is already pretty decent and again you know we've been running this for a little while now and there's no ramp up in fan noise at all I'm gonna bring the mic to the vent so it's like nothing at all All right, and then here's another sort of EV heavy scene done on the stream a couple a couple months ago. And here, this compiling the shader step usually, you know, where where it changes from clay default shader to all the correct shaders that takes forever normally. Um, that'll take maybe a minute or two solid. So. It, and, and then you know every time you open a docu a, a new scene it has to recompile so that's a huge time saver actually but I will say in terms of uh, performance here we're we're chugging along 
I think the RTX 2070 was a bit faster on, on this scene. But yeah, I need to equalize for the uh, resolution though somehow. Wireframe, pretty fast in wireframe. I'm trying to remember all the hotkeys, I, I haven't used Blender in a while. So that, I mean, this is a, a pretty low poly model, but yeah, it's handling it pretty well. Do, do, do. Let me see if there's anything else to show. What about this one? I don't even remember what half of these are. Get rid of this thing. Let's run it. I know this scene is kind of rough, so let me make it small so that it can run a little bit faster. One point two two frames per second. Oh yeah. Got some monkeys working on stuff. Uh, let me try rendering this. How long does it take to render? One thing about EV, rendering EV is I noticed that if you use the viewport render option, it, go, it usually goes way faster than if you use the regular render option. I'm not sure why. It's, it's probably doing some sort of like compositing or post-processing or something. But see, this took 20.1 seconds. It's pretty long for that frame. But if I try here, if I go to the viewport itself and go a view, viewport render image, this should be a lot faster, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, hmm, I haven't actually tried this on the Mac, but usually with the, oh, was that faster? Oh man, where's the time of it? I'm not sure if that was any faster. Anyway, um, that's the video basically. If you guys have any questions about um, working on Blender with M1, let me know, I'll try to figure it out. But so far, it's, it's pretty mind-blowing. This feels very futuristic. Um, yeah, uh, it compared to any other laptop I've used in the past, it's it is uh, blowing them away, and um, and then also the battery life is crazy too. So you can run all this stuff, you can do screen recording, you can um, do whatever you need to do, and and the battery is going to last you through most of the day, I think. So anyway, hope this is helpful for anyone out there, and. Um, Thanks for watching.